Red Oak High School, we have our president. President George W. Bush has been re-elected and we have the results from the Red Oak High School vote. November 2nd, 2004 was a night that will go down in history. So many voters showed up at the polls that many had to stay open well into the night. And even better, there were over 21 million young voters from the ages of 18 to 30 at the polls that night. There's a major increase since the last election. However, Red Oak High School wasn't as lucky with its young voters. Only 230 students out of over 1,500 even bothered to vote. If the young people in America had participated as much as our students did, the election could have taken a very different turn. Because remember, every vote counts. In the school vote, George W. Bush had 162 votes, John Kerry had 40 votes, Ralph Nader had 22 votes, and six of the students were undecided. So it looks like Red Oak High School has made the same decision as the American public. Bush wins. Late Wednesday morning, while many polls were still disputing the swing state of Ohio, Senator Kerry called the president and graciously conceded the race. Now President Bush will have to prove himself once again, but the American public has found him able. Next election, many of us will be old enough to vote, and I hope that you will do just that, because as you've seen, it's very important and the election affects us all.